What's going on guys, D-Pad first, welcome back, and someone actually asked me to do this video in one of my most recent comment sections, hey, can you update the information in this video versus the new video because we have the pricing leaks for Coffee Lake. Yes, I can. The i3 is coming in at around $120, I think. The cheapest one to be exact is 117 four cores. That is pretty awesome. Cannot deny that's pretty awesome. The 8600K, I believe, is coming in at around $260. Someone can correct me if this information is not correct. The i7, of course, 8700K, six cores, 12 threads. Really nice, Intel really stepped up their game. And we can, again, we can still think Ryzen for that. Coming in at around $100 more, I believe, $360, $357, I think, something like that. You, you will definitely be able to get deals on these if you purchase like a combo with a motherboard. It just kind of depends on your location and what store, things like that. But if you're just buying them separately, then it's gonna be around the prices I just gave. That being said though, you know, not really a whole lot has changed from my previous my previous thoughts, my previous opinions versus Ryzen and the value. And there were mixed feelings, mixed thoughts and opinions from you guys, those of you that watch my videos about, you know, well, yeah, this is a really good value, but it's not the best value. Ryzen is not the best value for the majority of consumers. So an 8700K with only six cores and 12 threads is best for the majority of consumers. Price matters too. Price is a big thing. Keep in mind that it's not just gamers that are buying a lot of this stuff. There's people that are buying CPUs for multiple reasons. And a lot of that is video editing, multitasking, different things. Um, you just have to keep a lot of that in mind. So for the majority of consumers, maybe something in the Ryzen 7 line isn't for everyone, but the majority of consumers might feel that say, the basic i5 from coffee lake or the 1600 or the 1600x are a better buy maybe over the i7 or one from the ryzen 7 it just it's it's all it would be interesting to see after maybe like a year or two from now what like steam surveys say what the steam numbers say what other numbers are saying about like what processors the majority of consumers, the majority of gamers, I guess in this case, have in their setup. I would be interested to know that in a year or two because it's going to get even more interesting. You cannot complain about good competition, but I actually did have someone, believe it or not, I understood where he was coming from, I, I, but there was, there was a guy in a comment section that said to me, look, I get what you're saying, but I don't know if I like competition when it comes to technology, particularly with the PC space. And I'm like, hey, you know, what do you mean? And he, his theory is that maybe if we were all on very similar hardware that was not only similar, but very good hardware, we would get better optimized games more often. And I don't think I can agree with that because it's not just all of us having very different setups that is the issue there are other things that come into play budget uh, laziness on the part of some developers there's all sorts of different things it's not just that we don't have that that static console like our hardware where they can develop for you know one set rig you know one set setup and they're good to go for every pc gamer there, there's just more to it than that I would have to disagree and I I would definitely disagree with it not being a very good thing with technology in general. Maybe I'm not quite getting that comment uh, quoted properly. Again, it's, it's something to that effect. Maybe I'll remember to put that down in the comment section or the video itself. So moving on, I, I still think Ryzen is the better value all of that is subjective i don't speak for everyone 
but just giving my take. Moving on from that, NVIDIA is going to release this 1070 Ti, I think. I do not understand this. I do not understand where this comes in, where this fits in. It doesn't really make any sense to go through the process of manufacturing this thing when you could just reduce the price of the GTX 1080. Wouldn't that make more sense? Does that not make more sense, NVIDIA? I mean, am I crazy? Maybe someone else has a different take in the comment section. I just think a 1070 Ti, I mean, it's not going to be as good as a 1080, right? So your best bet would still be to spend, I don't know, 30 to $50 more on the 1080, just my opinion. I don't really have a whole lot more I can say just yet. We're gonna have to see some numbers, but then you have the numbers that are all over YouTube from all of the tech heads, all of the different tech head websites that have their numbers, and then there's the real world numbers, right? What the average person, the average gamer is doing and putting their settings to. So it's all just a matter of, um, playing the wait and see game with that speaking of the wait and see game i did pre-order the evil within 2 i figured we're getting there it's like 11 12 days away something like that and it's just time and as far as whatever the the last video i did with the performance setup with my current rig and i said this will probably be the last with this setup Evil Within 2 will probably be the last. I am like really, really busy right now with work. There's a lot going on and I don't even know when I can get this current, this, this new PC build together. I have my fan coming in and then something else and then I'm, I'm pretty much ready to go. But I don't know when I'll feel like it. I don't know when I'll have the time. Um, just putting out a video like this that takes, you know, 10 minutes or less. Uh, the struggle is real even for something as simple as that so yeah 1070 ti coffee lake let me know what you guys think about this or are you just are you getting excited about coffee lake have you changed your mind about ryzen now is, is has intel done enough to prove to you that uh you know they're willing to compete are they willing to compete with pricing though it doesn't seem like that's really the case, right? Because again, looking at the 1600 or the 1600X from AMD, you're getting six cores, 12 threads, the 8700K, six cores, 12 threads, but over $100 more in some cases, it's just kind of a hard pill to swallow. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. You guys take care. Thank you very much again for the continued support. Peace.